and uh, i am going to tell you how to score good marks in your uh, second language sanskrit and i am going to now explain you for uh, fourth semester students uh, in your degree written part of examination your uh, question paper consists of uh, 80 marks uh, with a vibhagah and uh, a vibhagah a vibhagah consists of uh, 20 marks and uh, there are six questions given out of which you can answer any four the first question talks about uh, say kavi parichaya of uh, vivekananda vijayam kavi parichaya of vivekananda vijayam and this kavi parichaya will be very brief just write about the kavi write about his uh, say titles or upadhi write about his works and uh, write about the importance of this lesson finish maybe five to six lines second question is uh, say one sandarbha vakya you are going to explain from the lesson vishruta charitam vishruta charitam has uh, almost like uh, 9 to 10 sandarbha vyakhya and all important sandarbha vakya have been uh, already marked please look into the pdf you will find all important uh, say sandarbha vyakhya question number 3 consists of uh, krudanta rupani and this krudanta rupani will be say given from your grammar part there are eight children they are going to give you five words and just you have to tell you that uh, what is the combined form of uh, say so and so krudanta mu to so and so verb that is enough only telling uh, what what uh, say words come together to make this krudanta rupam five words are given and you are answering all five only you are writing the mixed form of the two and with no choice five words five marks next come again sandarbha vyakhya this is uh, from chitrapata darshanam this chitrapata darshanam the story of rama sita and lakshmana you are going to get one sandarbha vyakhya and you are writing sandarbha bhavaha along with kavi parichaya kavi parichaya part you are writing in say devanagari livi like uh, name of the kavi name of the lesson and name of the resource book these three you are writing in devanagari livi remaining all in english this question carries five marks next kram dhruvopakhyanam this dhruvopakhyanam lesson you are going to write about the kavi just like vivekananda vijayam dhruvopakhyanam also will be given for your kavi parichaya write about the kavi in brief no need of writing so much five six lines you write about him and that is enough for you to get five marks then again uh, they are going to give grammar question krudanta rupani from krudanta rupani what you are going to get uh, in this uh, say part is uh, all eight uh, krudanta rupani they will give again they give five words uh, and you have to find out uh, by adding which krudanta rupam to which verb the present form has come this is also with no choice five words they give you have to answer all five this is how you will uh, answer your part uh, of and uh, here there is a choice children you can choose sandarbha vakya in both the lessons you can choose uh, kavi parichaya from both the lessons or you can choose uh, krudanta rupani from grammar part but remember under any circumstance you are going to leave only two questions but not all six now when we talk about uh, part b or a vibhagah a vibhagah consists of four questions question 1 talks about uh, sandarbha vyakhya and uh, say pratipadartha bhava anvaya krama pada vibhaga 
ಕವಿ ಪರಿಚಯ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವ್ಯಾಕರಣ ಅಂಶ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಹೌ ಯು ಆರ್ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಸೆಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಸೆಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದೀಸ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಗಿವೆನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಚಿತ್ರಪಟ ದರ್ಶನ ದೇ ಗಿವ್ ಯು ಫೋರ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಟು ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಎನಿ ಟು ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಚಾಯ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವೆಶ್ಚನ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಚೂಸ್ ಎನಿ ಟು ಶ್ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ಡ್ and uh, all the important questions are given in the pdf children please follow pdf coming to question number 8 uh, there is a nibandha prashna again internal choice nibandha prashna is asked from chitrapata darshanam from your uh, nataka vibhagam and vivekananda vijayam from gadya out of these two you can answer any one and uh, this question consists of 15 marks question number 9 also consists of nibandha prashna only and this nibandha prashna will be from again uh, internal choice uh, that is uh, either from vishuddha charitam or from dhruva vakya you can select one and you can write the whole story in english children just remember you are not going to miss uh, quotations quotations will be given in sanskrit minimum four quotations uh, you are supposed to write uh, in your essay the whole essay will be in english and four relevant uh, quotations or uh, the dialogue that is given in between the lines of your essay you should be writing the answer and this is uh, question number 9 so one from padya bhagam one from gadya bhagam you are preparing for nibandha prashna or essay question which gives you a maximum of 13 marks out of given 15 marks now coming to the last question question number 10 krudanta rupani that means they give almost krudanta rupani from your workbook there are eight say krudanta rupani out of which you are going to answer say from krudanta rupani all the bits that you are going to write and these questions are consisting of 15 marks they give you say the krudanta rupani bits from your grammar and this krudanta rupani will be having 3 marks for each bit 3 marks for each bit you have to tell by adding what kind of krudanta mood to what kind of say verb and also you should tell what gender whether it is sri linga napamsak linga or pum linga and also you have to tell from a which number it is given so you have to work a little more to tell this krudanta rupam in question number 10 they give you almost 10 words and you are asked to answer only 5 again internal choice so children be sure when you are thorough with your grammar question not even a single mark will be lost by you you get all 15 out of 15 and this is what uh, the structure of your uh, question paper with the part a uh, and part a uh, 20 plus 60 80 marks uh, and uh, you know the remaining 20 marks are from your internal assessment uh, that is given by your lecturer in the college so i wish you people all the best in your examination thank you